Tonight we're going to try and make a quick one called Alphabet Soup. Okay, let's first make the graphic background. Now it's just going to be like milk. So we're going to make a large white circle. And I was thinking a wood grain or some kind of background thing around the circle. So we'll make a black basic circle here. Fairly large. And we can make it all oh boy, yes. I'd rather have it as round as possible. Let's move that a little bit more centered. Alright, that's about as centered as I can bother with. Now let's see about filling the outside area. That's solid. We have to work. See what that one looks like. I'll go with that. It's a little busy, but it works for me. Let's see, maybe something else. Undo. Maybe I'll go with more colorful grid. I'm just trying to pick up the right system of lattice. Actually, that's kind of interesting. Let's stick with that. Alright. We're done with our background already. Now we need our alphabet. Actually... Wanted a little bit of room there. You know what? Let's redo that. It's easy. Redo it. So let's go ahead and just clear it out. And then I'll make my circle. Actually, I'll go ahead and make the square first because I want a little area. Snap at the grid. Make our circle. Wanted to snap a little better than that. Now we will fill in our area. Like that. Now let's make a first object. I was thinking about it being a simple word game. We'll have it spelled CAT, C A T. And the vehicles come by with it. Uh, radios, yeah. We'll have it spelled CAT. Then uh, I don't know if that's worse than the engines. Uh, we can make a better spot than this. Oh well. Okay. This one will be the letter C, so I'll just spell it that. And I've set in the path that I don't want to do one point values, and I'm trying to think about how many letters I want in our soup. get very tight in there, very quick, if I used even four points. So I think I'm stuck with using one point, even though I've said in the past not to use one point to click on. I don't think we have much choice because we don't want it filling up too much of the area. So, that is 
see. Bring that again. Okay, let's go ahead, just for simple sake, I want to do it a little bit different afterwards, but right now, for real easy reference, we'll do that. There's our C. Sorry, wrong arrow. Next one will be our A. Okay, let's put that big letter A in there. Next one will be our T. Did I just say TT? Sometimes this thing rapid fires on me. I think I wanted to do is duplicate that so we'll need a second set, so copy. It'll be that easy. Let's see. Yeah. TT will want to go ahead and edit that name. And this one we will well, Actually, make it reference easy, it doesn't matter at this point. I think what I'll do is letter one. Yeah. Ah. Looking at like 45 degree angle, and sometimes I miss. No, not letter six. Letter one. that that's not the button I wanted to use and this should be yeah see I don't want that. Now, for easy reference sake at this moment, I'm going to go into here, make the command, spell cat. And we'll go ahead and make the artificial intelligence, so to speak. Actually, they didn't call it AI for artificial intelligence. They called it something else, AI. Instruction, advanced instructional or something. That was in the manual. Okay, now this one, since I made it, letter two, letter one, letter one, we're going to go ahead and put that into that box that I had down there. Location. Point. And at some point I'm going to have the word spell there. Looks like it's in position. I'm going to put more programming in there at a later point. Make sure it looks right next to on the tupper screen there.